It doesn't matter whether we are talking water, whether we are talking manufacturing, whether we are talking agriculture, power is what makes all these endeavors modern. If we wish to catapult Botswana and Africa into the modern era, power is literally the source. KS Energy is a power generation and asset management company established in Botswana by Teuton Turkey in 2008. The company develops and or operates sustainable power projects throughout the sub-Saharan Africa region. Its flagship project is the 90 megawatt power plant in the Orapa Diamond region of Botswana. The importance of the Orapa power plant in particular, it's a plant which we use for system picking and emergency and it's a very, very reliable power plant which we've been operating since 2011 to bridge the supply gap. The government and Debswana, which is the partnership between the Beers and the Botswana government, was anxious to ensure that the mines, particularly the diamond mines, were adequately supplied with electricity. It has been a wonderful relationship since day one. This is the very reason why we awarded the asset management agreement to KS Energy to manage the asset in the form of operations, maintenance in asset care, so they do have a full cover. The plant availability has been very good from day one up to now. We are very, very confident. They are transparent. Um, the, the, the maintenance is done up to scratch. They've got backup agreements with the original equipment manufacturer. To, we will not hesitate to recommend anyone to hire them to operate that kind of facility. The Orapa power plant was designed and constructed in three years. Its modular design offers future expansion possibilities using robust technology such as General Electric's LM6000 gas turbines, the dual fuel gas diesel Orapa power plant is perfectly suited to conditions in Africa. Since 2011, KS Energy has been operating and maintaining this highly efficient power plant at an impressive 98% availability. I've been working closely with KS Energy and observed their Orapa operations. The plant is spotless and managed very efficiently. So KS Energy used technology from GE, General Electric uh, LM6000 engine, also the Siemens engine uh, like we have in Nigeria project. The LM6000 are excellent units for peak power demand. They start very easily and once they are not required anymore and they are shut down, they are on standby within 30 minutes. So our uh, day starts with our pre-start checklist, applying pre-start checklist and checking the all points on these turbines and the balance of plant. Our new control system supports the operator because it gives them a lot of control. Now we give you alarms. Uh, they're instantaneous practically. It's milliseconds. You're finding out this is happening and where should I go start looking to try to troubleshoot it. At the core of the KS Energy business model is a strong focus on localization. The company has a philosophy of developing and empowering local people. Part of the criteria to select highly skilled professionals for the initial Orapa power plant team was, for example, their proven ability to transfer skills. Another critical enabler is internships, feeding young graduates to the power plant where they are exposed to technical theory and practical know-how. The result? Meaningful skills transfer, fast-track development of local specialist skills with 85% local employment achieved at the Oraba power plant in just five years. So it is very, very important for any company coming to do business in any country, especially in power generation, to look at the development requirements for the local staff so that they upskill they take them through training programs uh, to develop the capacity at all levels. KS Energy is a unique company in Africa in the sense that we have a broad base of, of, of expert skills on our projects and we also 
uh, implement a lot of skills transfer to our local employees. We get quality training here because uh, we get uh, instructors from uh, companies like General Electric and other uh, companies like Siemens which uh, have their systems that are in place here that we need to learn. As you know, right now I've been trained on project management by this company and I'm looking forward to go, to go and do the, uh, the LM6000 cold section level 2 maintenance in Houston, Texas. Last year I got promoted to senior position and this year I had an opportunity to go and work at Egypt still under case energy to further my skills and to gain the international experience. Case energy is doing big for us as Botswana and as an intern and after the intern that I saw here when they are going back to their school they have learned a lot. So I want to believe that with their commitment for skill transfer to the locals I think in years to come many Botswana will be experience on LM6000 engines. The way KS Energy works is differentiated by its inclusive company culture, a culture that extends to all who work at the plant. It's a culture of respect and constructive engagement, a culture that extends beyond just good intentions into everyday real and definable actions. We are a family. We love each other. We train each other. When we see that uh, one colleague is behind, we pull him or her to be up to speed with others. We are open, we share everything, we communicate everything. KS Energy is my home. Another element of the KS Energy process of adapting power solutions for the local context is the way in which the company relates to local communities. KS Energy is a good neighbor to surrounding communities. It drives local benefits through its core business, energy, and where possible, the company responds to community development needs, as was the case with the Rhino Chem Primary School in Akpela, close to its Nigerian operation. Case Energy Project, I say, is very, very good and very important for the people in Orapa and even the surroundings that we are enjoying because it's not that, uh, that uh, electricity uh, depends for, it's used for Debsana only. Even the surrounding villages, they enjoy. Between now and 2030, the African continent will need to add 250 gigawatts of power to realize its true potential. A vital part of the power mix in bridging this energy gap is gas-to-power technology. Gas-to-power technology has a solid track record. These power plants are simple to design and construct, more environmentally friendly than heavy fuel oils and offer benefits such as lower operating and maintenance costs. KS Energy has demonstrated this in Botswana. KS Energy is currently engaged in multiple opportunities to create a thriving electricity supply industry in Africa and do so with a long-term view. The company partnered with players such as Zaris Energy in Namibia and entities in Nigeria, Egypt, Benin and Saudi Arabia who are convinced that KS Energy has the core competencies to deliver in time and on budget. The philosophy is simple really. We stay true to what we do and we do it better than anybody else. We are a highly disciplined and very technically skilled company focused on gas to power projects. We are a very inclusive culture. We hire local employees, we've sought out the best young talent that we can find and then we train them. We train them to the point where we've actually begun exporting some of our local talent. Being this inclusive culture and growing from within has created a real sense of pride, a DNA that we hope we're going to be able to duplicate in other sub-Saharan African markets where we work. We've avoided the temptation of trying to grow too fast. There are a lot of challenges, but the, the philosophy and the strategy thus far has worked extremely well.